Welcome home everyone, Wookiee Legend here. Another how-to video on the Tier 8 uh, US uh, Destroyer line, which is the Benson. Uh, I have a silly camo here, don't mind that. But uh, here we go. They're mostly... Uh, this is where kind of where the hybrid still plays uh, for the US Destroyers. Um, hybrid meaning it, it's a, a, a torpedo boat and a gunboat at the same time. It's not better at either or, but has a little bit of both. Um, your first 10 points, again, will be um, preventive maintenance, maintenance, last stand. We're going to get more health with survivability, expert, and then concealment, which drops our concealment down to 5.8, which gives us the best opportunity here. Um, and then I went with a like a faster torp. I mean, these torps aren't the fastest, 61 knots, but it's a little bit faster. Um, you could also go with demo expert, maybe before you get this one, but it's up to you. It's your own preference. At tier 8, at this point, you should technically kind of have a, an idea of what you want to do. Uh, I'm going to go with speed. I'll go with the uh, Julia Whiskey to get maybe a chance of flooding. You never know. Um, definitely make sure to have a camo on, though. Make sure to have a camo on. I'm actually going to switch this one flag to a flag that you guys probably don't have, which is fine. You probably don't have either one of these, but that's okay. Um, other than that, let's go with uh, equipment. Obviously, try to get uh, the hull first, right? And then the torps and the guns. Or, well, this one's your own preference, but definitely the hull first. Uh, I went with main arm uh, armament modification one. I went with the engine room protection, right? Uh, I'm going for torps again. So I'm trying to go more towards torps than it is guns because the guns are there. We already know the guns are there. Uh, they're solo turret also, so uh, the chance of you missing is a little bit higher, but that's okay. So I'm going to go with torps. Um, and, and with this help, they are 61 knots, so you can only imagine how much slow they are. Uh, propulsion mod 1, and then concealment, which then puts us at 5.8. Um, Here we have an option for defensive AA, which is pretty much not there. So we're going to go with engine boost. We're going to need uh, speed to dip in and out. Alright. So with this boat, we can easily get into a cap. Um, we, we could do actually quite a few things with this boat. Not only spotting, obviously, it's a destroyer. But yes, we can cap. We can defend caps. We can uh, hold down flanks. We have very long smoke. We have, the U.S. destroyer line has the best smoke in the game. A solid 8, which is solid. We have a Hornet to deal with, which is okay. Any radar? One radar. One radar, okay. And this is 12-kilometer radar, so... On our team, we don't have any radar. Oh, boy. Already at a disadvantage. They have a sub. They have a CV. Multiple attacks. Gotcha. Okay, we have one cap. So what we're going to do is... We're just going to not go far. What we want to do is just hold off. We're, we're not going to pass this line. At all, for now. So, here we go. Now, hopefully, we can have some help, not just a battleship. Maybe we can get uh, this guy to help us. Teammate, I need your support. We'll ping at five now. Maybe we'll draw him in this way. Mm. Yeah, here he comes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All right, so what we want to do is we want to spot. I believe we can outspot the lightning. I'm not sure. The Bensons, obviously, if they have the same detection, they have the same detection. Uh, and then um, the sub. Well, who knows where he's going to be. He might be over here. He might be more middle. What I'm actually going to do is go towards the middle more. There's a Talon we want. We want him dead, and he's also going to the other side of the map. There's one Benson. Always pay attention to the map when you're playing Destroyers. I mean, it doesn't matter what you're playing, but... The map is very important. Plus or minus to make it bigger or smaller, right? Here, we'll make it as big as possible so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Make it transparent also so you can see actually torps underneath it. Because by default, it's not. And you can just go to a little cog here by holding control, moving your mouse over there. And we'll just move one down. And from here, kids going middle. Sub's coming this way. Bear's coming this way. Vlad is coming this way. Perfect. We don't want to go too far, but we want to go far enough. Fire on the enemy and we want to keep pinging the only radar ship in the game. So then our team is constantly aware that that's the ship that potentially should go. Hopefully they understand why. 
There's the Benson. Oh, that Benson might come this way from his positioning. So I'm just going to preemptively shoot some Torps towards him. And we're hoping that uh, when he... Because he's here, when he finally starts going this way, he's going to run into our Torps. I'm going to turn off our AA because here comes the Hornet. There's the Atlantico. So we spotted one battleship. We're going to turn back now. Hornet's looking, but our guy dropped the. Uh... Good show. Oh, he wasn't even going for an attack. He was just trying to evade. But there go all his clans. All right. There's the other Benson. So that means the lightning's over here then. Oh no, there he is. Enemy destroyer, critical engine damage. Enemy submarine in sight. All right. There's a oh, no, that's a sail. So lightning's gone wide. We're not going to stop shooting here. I thought oh, that when we saw him broadside, he shot Torps. That was set. the case, obviously. So what's going to happen here is we're actually going to stop and use our smoke up. We're going to chance it at the see if he's not going to shoot us in smoke or drop us in smoke. Our Torps are coming too, but we're going to wait for him because we want him closer. We don't want him to dodge. We have time. We have a minute 30. Sure, I don't think he's done. He's gonna dodge anything. Looks like he's coming in. Might be a newer player. Bought himself a ship. The way he's playing is telling me that he's a newer player. The fact that he has no support and he's pushing forward means that he has um he just doesn't have the experience, which is fine. I mean, you got to learn somewhere, but tier 8 isn't really where you learn how to play the game. It's the lower tiers. People just have to realize that. Yeah. He's not going to have a good time here in the next second. Just keep firing. Try to get into the superstructure. He took one. One's enough. You got to shoot over the turrets or else you're going to just keep getting shatters. We do have a lot of non-pens anyway, but uh, that's due to, like I said, the turrets are all solo barrel. Okay, so the lightning's here. He went dark, so I'm going to go dark, and I'm going to reposition on him. I'm actually going to go around this island. So while he thinks I'm going to be over here... I'm going to be over there, and we're going to ambush him. There's no one else here to help them. So, I have to play this right. He can outgun me. I believe he has better guns than me. Also, his turrets are double-barreled, so the accuracy is a little bit better. When it's a solo barrel like the, the U.S. Destroyers, this one, the Fletcher, uh, the Gearing doesn't have it, but uh, I believe the Farragut also has it in the hand. Um, the dispersion isn't exactly... I mean, it... There's a lot of dispersion. <laughs> Let's just be honest. So. We're going to try to get in front. He's probably running at this point. I doubt he's still in the smoke. The fact that he's not shooting. Yeah, there he is there. Which is fine. So what's going to happen is we're going to actually preemptively shoot Torps wide. So when he does finally spot us, he's going to be running into these wide Torps. We're going to wait though. There it goes. Now when we engage him, by the time we engage him, the Torps will be close, and he'll panic, and then hopefully hit one of them. We don't want him to turn out, though, and that's what he's doing. No, 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 we want him to turn in. Oh, oh. Okay, he, he committed. He committed.
He had no idea we were here. Engine boost activated. The horn is spotting us. So what needs to happen is we need to go dark. We have seven seconds to go dark. There we go. We went dark. Horn is out of position. Now we're going to actually get out of position too. He thinks we're still here, so we're going to re reposition again. He is going to come out of smoke though. And if he comes out of smoke... Torpedoes astern. Promise he went out of smoke in a position where he is spotted. Between me and the kid, we should have him. Now we know he launched torps, so we can just stay focused in. We don't actually have to zoom out. And now it just comes down to the skill level of me shooting ahead of him, so then he because you see how the velocity of the US guns aren't there. Problem solved, sir. Well done, Commander. All right, he is right there. Uh oh, uh oh. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes astern. Yikes! The guy ate him. Those torps are for me. They weren't gonna hit me because, well, we saw only one rack. But let's see. The Zaitans next. We're not actually gonna go after the CV. CV's not gonna get us the win. This cap is. So what we want to do is we want to hold on to our smoke as long as possible before we have to use it. I'm not going to let him know that we're here. He does have hydro. So we got to be very careful. So. Engine boost deactivated. He's going to straight line. He's slightly turning in. And I'm gonna wait here. Smoke generator started. We want him to not turn, so I'm not gonna shoot yet. But I will actually reposition. We want him to maintain going straight. If we shoot him now, he'll turn, and we might miss Torps. The sub has him. Yeah. Good. Better safe than sorry. We have the smoke. We didn't know that the sub was going to hit him or not. There's always a chance of it not happening. And then there we go. And that's how you kind of play the US destroyers. Uh, you can bully other destroyers. You're not the most powerful, but uh, you're very agile and you can get you can get things done, especially with teamwork. The kid came and helped me out. Between the two of us, there's no other DD that can... It's just too much firepower. Um, their whole team just folded also. Um, their Alabama being newer, the other Benson died early, then this Lightning just couldn't handle, it was too much firepower. Uh, Atlantico tried, but he also just went forward. He was actually better off kiting us while the Lightning was spotting. Um, and then the Hornet, he could have helped a little bit more, but I mean, he can't be everywhere, right? So, there's your typical game if you play it correctly. We're playing objectives, we're playing positions. It's all about positions. Notice how I didn't go wide, because there's nothing out here for us. I'd rather go middle, and then you have more of a spotting here, which is kind of what you want. You don't want to spot out here. Remember, you're going to lose half your spotting just to the outside of the map. So if you position yourself more centralized, you can kind of see what what can happen. And and every time I, I, I came back towards my team, always come back towards your team. Uh, the only time you're going to be going forward is to spot, but you got to be very cautious, especially knowing where the, the radar is, where the CV is. Um, turn off your AA until you need it, right? Because that's a dead giveaway, uh, especially if the the battleships know to use their um, depth charge bombers. As soon as they shoot them over you, your AA will go off. You're not going to get spotted, but they'll see the AA tracers knowing that you're there because they're doing it to find you, right? They're not just doing it to hit you because they can't hit you with depth charges. So um, make sure to have your AA off all the time unless you need it. And at this point, I'm not even going to fire. There's just no point. The, the 2 XP I'm going to get or 3 XP, I'd rather cap and win. Winning's the hardest thing in this game anyway. So just going to sit here. We're going to win. And there's the game. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed this, um, this game. Uh, please comment down below. 
subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the next video. There we go. We got fourth place. Didn't really do much. Oh, actually, never mind. We did plenty. <laughs> Didn't even notice. Have a good one, everyone. Bye from me.